asked him about it, you know, I was like, oh, what's the deal with that? Because you pull out, you know, it's like, is it a trick? And he's like, no, you pull it out. And as long as you're holding your hand above your heart, it doesn't bleed for a little bit. He's like, but then when you put your hand down, obviously it bleeds because you have fucking a hole through your hand. And I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that's not a much of a trick. That's, that's messed up. But one of the things that he showed us was there was a, a guy that was famous back in the day for putting swords through his body. The guy would run like the whole way, mm -hmm, the whole way through like his really, organs. Really narrow sword. Yeah, a small. But they got progressively larger <laughs> as he got, he got more progressively deader. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how he died? Do you remember, Jamie? I, I feel like that's how it ended up going. He got <laughs> cocky. Yes, he got cocky. Dude. I think, or he like sneezed he, halfway through and just like lacerated. Eventually, made his way to like a broadsword size. <laughs> it was really weird to see though, because there's video of this guy. And there's photos. Video? Is there I, video? No, I got video of it. There's video? Yeah, this guy slid, like, right through his organs. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So look at this. Oh, jeez. I mean, they just puncture his lung with a fucking sword. I mean, this is not a trick. This is when you watch action movies and people get shot or stabbed a bunch of times, and you're like, that's so unrealistic. He'd be mm. dead. Like when you watch John Wick, you know, and he gets right. shot like 27 times. Like mm -hmm. apparently people can actually uh, take quite a beating and just keep going. Or they can get one small. Oh, Look, they're going geez. right through this, right through his fucking. Dude. Yeah, oh my right Jesus through his Christ. organs. And look how he just sat, sits there. And, and I guess. The, who's this doctor who's like uh, good enough to poke a sword straight through him? He's not really a doctor. Well, but he must be a, like he'd be an incredible, uh, maybe he works in a deli. You know, <sighs> like a really, really this, good like, meat Does it chopper. say what year this is? Now, what are the things on his forearms, by the way? Oh, he's, so he, now he's going into an x-ray machine to make sure that... So this guy had scars all over his body from the times that he did this. Dude. Yeah, yikes. That's a fucking fairly thick Dude. blade. <laughs> like, definitely bigger than a pencil. That... Look, the doctor's examining it. Looks good. And now he's going to eat. Except it's all going to fall out the hole. Yeah, it's going to score it out. That's a hard-looking man. Imagine having a conversation with that dude. I bet he has a very weird way of looking at things. Dude. <laughs> the guy is 36. That guy looks... Yeah, well, there you go. He looked like he was 36. 50 already. <laughs> Fill really the holes. I wonder how painful that is. I mean, it's got to be painful pretty painful. Painful as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you would assume. How could it not yeah. be? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, I mean, yeah. Fucking piercing your ear is painful. <laughs> I have no priest my ear. <laughs> too afraid. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're too afraid to no, pierce I mean, your ear. Well, no, I just don't want a hole in my ear. So did he uh, die from that, Jamie? I'm double checking on how oh. he died. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you need like a team of researchers that you're just like pulling up, uh, like, yeah, checking facts. I know. It's all Jamie one-handed Googling. Yeah. Like a wizard. He moved to Switzerland and was granted a license to perform without the ability to speak to the public. I don't know. That sounds strange. A yes. license to perform without the ability to... Oh, Maybe, like, if you performed, you had to talk to people. Like, they had mimes back then, though, no? Maybe you had to break character. I don't know. Or they weird. get mad at you. But that seems like, so maybe he couldn't say it. He got, he was like, ow, it hurts. And they're like, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is well, so I, silly to even to, have to, a thing To be like fair, that. The, the act is less inspiring if the guy screams in pain the whole time. Because then nobody True. wants to watch. Right, yeah. I mean, the same guy doing the same thing, screaming like, like he's being tortured. That would be sick. I mean, it'd be the same for David Blaine. Like, when you yeah. watch the David stuff, it's like, if you were putting an ice pick through his arm and he was just screaming, like, if he was just sobbing the whole time, you'd be like, I don't want to watch this. I wouldn't do it. It's I'd like a... It says in 1948, yeah. he was uh, alleged, he was instructed by voices to eat a steel needle. And two days later, it was surgically removed. I don't know. I, I think he got cocky. It's That's fair to say that he might have some weird confusing. things going on. Yeah. yeah, he was probably so, trying to kill himself and couldn't believe he s kept surviving. <laughs> yeah, he was laying on a bed. They didn't. Th I guess they didn't know he was dead. And then they finally got a doctor to check him. Turns out he'd already been dead for a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds a little. Jesus Christ. We need. We need like three oh. more uh, research interns. <laughs> like googling yeah, his whole Jesus. scene as fast as they get because they're like, wait, none of that makes any sense. And this was because of swallowing a needle. 